Okay, I want to talk about a couple things that we've done here that uh, might be a little confusing. Um, in the book, I'll try to cover this as best I can, but right here you see the bearing, and you'll have to trust me, there's another one underneath here, down under, underneath here, and what's going to happen is this lead screw, we've cut this to a length of 13 inches. The lead screw goes into the bearing, it goes through this hole right here, right there, sorry for my camera work and goes back goes on through and about a inch will remain up top and maybe a half inch or more down here on the bottom and the lead screw again is there's going to be a motor mounted to this attached to this that turns it that moves the z-axis up and down so what I want to do is show you we've, we've already done one over on this side you can see the lead screw coming through here it goes all the way through the center, through the two pieces right here. This is part B and part A, and then goes on to the other side. One thing I didn't show you on this side, forgot, was you have this square nut right here that the screw goes in. And what's happening is this lead screw turns, it forces this to move. This is going to be noisy. I've got a drill uh, attached here. Watch what happens when I give it some power. You can see the, uh, the lead screw turning, and it's moving, it's moving the, Z, the, uh, the Y axis right there. And we've also done one down here underneath the table. You can see that long lead screw right there. That's controlling the X axis, and it mount goes through that block right there, which also has, if you can take, you gotta look carefully, if there's another square nut right there that the lead screw goes through. We haven't done the z-axis yet, we're getting ready to do that, but I just wanted to show you how, explain how we did this. What we did was we had the z-axis completely off, this, this piece right, this whole piece right here, and we stuck a drill bit, a, a 5 8 inch drill bit, into this large hole, pointing up, and it made a dimple on the underside right here, and we used that dimple to drill a, uh, a pilot hole so that we could get the center point for drilling this larger hole where the bearing goes in. And then of course we got the two smaller holes here which is where the motor mount uh, will go to. And the same was done on the, on the piece under, underneath here which you can't see. Um, we stuck the drill bit through that hole pointing down and made a dimple, uh, a sharp point, and we used that as our mark for where to drill the center point for the bearing. So, um, you know, there's a lot of little tricks that you can do. You may come up with your own method. For this, what we did, before the lead screw was in, we, um, we, drilled, we drilled one of these holes, we stuck a, a, a bit through, and it made a mark in this piece, part B. So we knew where the center point was, we drilled that hole, that allowed us to, to drill this hole, and we pulled this piece, this piece right here, all the way over to this edge, and marked it so we know where to drill this hole. So we know that the holes all line up. I know that's a lot of information, but again, the book should help you to understand it a little better.